thought I had made the right choice. The day after and the, the months after, I really began to question that choice. I voted no. I've always been quite sort of uh, left. As the years go on, I'm becoming even more socialist, <laughs> coming even more left. There was a massive influx of new information in the final months that's really pulling at you from different sides, you know. We are talking about a big change in the British Constitution. It's like home rule within the United Kingdom. This idea of like a new federalised UK with a more powerful Scottish government. English votes for English laws requires a decisive answer. It was the view of Westminster that the Scottish question had been settled and it was to be brushed aside to find out that, that what you'd thought was going to happen kind of didn't materialise. That was, that was really tough. Labour definitely took Scotland for granted. What I find is you've got members who have a belief in the party, a belief in the values, a belief in social democracy, and a belief to work across political divides to do the greatest good. But then what you find is you've got, for example, Scottish Labour refusing to even work with the Scottish Parliament on something as awful as Brexit. Before the referendum, I knew um, 14 Labour Party paid up members. After the independence referendum, that had dropped to about four. Um, come the EU referendum, there was me. I can't vote for Labour anymore. They're not doing what's best for the country. The outcome for Scotland within a UK, outside the EU, seems pretty bleak. It seems to be that the UK's future is tied to a more xenophobic, racist, homophobic country. Do we want to, to be in the EU progressive and one of the biggest you know, trade blocks in the world or go with the UK and be hand in hand with Trump and, you know, like the president of Turkey? Who do we want to stand with? What does that say about Scotland? The people that I know who voted no thought yes campaign people thought was going to be like, you know, this magical wonderland. If we're more honest, say, look, the first few years are going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it. The ability to shape a constitution, to say these are things that we believe in, these are things that Scotland believes in, surely that's, well, that's worth more than the current setup we've got at the minute. There should be another independence uh, referendum. I think that the circumstances we were in 2014 have totally changed, have, have totally changed. The question needs to be put to the Scottish people again. To me, it seems the, the only choice now. This time, I would vote yes.